Oh yeah, good stuff. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, still got my 2001 Trans Am, and as you can tell from the title, it's still knocking. So, as I kind of assumed, but tried Marvel's Mystery Oil, Lucas, Sea Foam. It has Mobile One Synthetic in it right now. I mixed those in there, left a quart out of it. That way, I can mix it in there, but. As you can tell from other videos, it didn't really have any shavings or anything like that in it. But, um, yeah, so this time, I'm not quite done giving it a shot. I'm still hoping that it's a uh, piston slap, but it sure sounds like rod knock. Either way, um, which brings me to, I think, I think I came up with a name. It's either Axel Rose or Bob Dylan, because... She's definitely knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Or Guns N' Roses. One of the two. Three, I should say. But today, we are going to try some straight 50 oil. Some thick stuff. Um, I'm running out of stuff to try. I know this is more of trying to get the rings to see it a little bit better. Um, but... I think I may try this. I'm going to try this after the fact of putting five quarts in this, which if you know anything about F-Body, it's supposed to take five and a half quarts. I'm trying to go on a low budget to see if I can't get this thing in the 12s as it sits. All 100% stock, not an air box mod, nothing. I mean, it's still got the original clutch in this thing. I'm trying to see if I can get this thing in the 12s all these years later i'm kind of going back to not using this and getting another thing of lucas because this stuff i mean it just doesn't it's not thick i need thick I need something thick and this really I'm probably going to return that and get maybe another thing of lucas all right she is good and hot let her run like 20 minutes uh, it's always a good idea to keep you some clear cups, no matter the size. I like to try and catch some of the first and some of the last, which is going to be hard because, I mean, this thing is piping hot. So, I'm going to see what I get off the hit. Go ahead and tell you, this is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Alright, some of the first. Trying to get the very last of it because the very last of it's usually what shoots some stuff out. Alright. Close enough for me. And I'm going to sit here and let that drain for a while. Pull the oil filter off here in a second. And you've seen that before. So I'm just giving y'all a tech tip on the if y'all diagnosing stuff or. If you just want to see what's going on with your engine, I would recommend, I mean, it'd be best if you got all the oil and spread it all out, but that would be a huge mess. So I usually get at least a cup at the beginning and a cup at the end and spread it all over a transmission pan. See if you got any shaving, take your magnet if need be. Um, but yeah. All right guys, so I dumped all three cups out of in here, one individually. I didn't have another guy here to film while I had my hands all oily. But I dumped each one of them out there and just kind of rubbed it around my finger and make sure I didn't feel anything nitty gritty. And then I took a big magnet, ran all through there to see if I had any shavings or anything like that. Nothing, nothing at all. So this is just the oil that I've picked up with cold cups. I'm gonna drain this out and then uh, we're gonna cut open this oil filter and see if there's anything in there. But as you can see, there is some this is so far, I hadn't pulled the oil filter part. This is the worst stuff I've seen. And I mean, in all honesty, you know, on a regular oil change, that's a little bit more than normal. I mean, I've seen way worse and I've seen a lot better. But then again, I've flushed so much stuff through this stuff. It may be, it may be catching, it may be catching some old stuff 
that uh, has been in there a while. I mean, I don't know. Um, obviously it's magnetic because otherwise it would not be on the magnet. We'll take a fresh paper towel, rub it across it. And yeah, that's some, some nice carboned up metal stuff. This is, the, uh, so far I swear this is the only thing I found in there. And I don't know. And like I said, I put lifters in it and I put a lot of assembly lube in it. The assembly lube is not going to turn black like this. So. Don't know. Like I said, I've seen some. I mean, I pulled some. Weren't even hot rods. that had metal shavings out to here and they're still on the road. So. All right. Yeah, if you have a vise and don't crush the can, this thing will literally just fall out. But let's see what we got. It does have a couple of sparkles. get in there I don't really see any big shavings at least I mean I don't really see and you could cut this open cut the top off with a pair of dikes or something like that and take the paper out but I mean I haven't really seen much of anything in it and it's not like it's a brand new engine if it's a brand new engine I'm gonna cut this apart and look at all, every one of these pieces of cardboard in here to make sure but I mean, there's... All right, the fifth quart is slowly draining into there. This Valvoline 50 race oil is some thick stuff. Might as well use syrup. I mean, it's thick. Thick ass stuff. But like I said before, we're going to put five quarts in it, start it up, see how it runs. It's only it's going to be a half quart short of full. Um, and I'm debating on putting this in there. I really do think I'm going to get, I don't know. I'm going to look at some more into this. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be thick enough for what I want. So it's still draining in there. I'm going to go ahead and start it up right now while... Still draining in there. Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment, maybe a little bit quieter, but not by much. Oh yeah, good stuff. All right guys, it's ran for about 15 minutes. And she is definitely quieter, 100%. Again, right now all it has is five quarts of straight 30 weight oil. Vaveline race oil it's still there but she is quieter and now I found this in my box of toys that I forgot I had sitting over there in the dust it's actually got a hole in the bottom of it some of this I've always heard it's good I honestly forgot I had it uh, it says only to put two quarts two quarts I'm sorry two fluid ounces per quart every fourth oil change we got five in here so that's 10 ounces i got 16 ounces left and this thing's leaking so i'm just gonna pour the whole thing in there and see what happens again it's quieting down quite a bit but she's still there so i'm gonna pour this in there and let it run a little bit longer 
all right guys it's been an hour and this thing has not stopped running still running and it is a little bit quiet it seems of course it could just be on my head but after an hour of running boom still sitting at about 39 ish 37 ish which i kind of figured the pressure would go down i've got i mean it's straight 50 weight so kevin went to go get his trailer so i could borrow it so we could trail this thing and plan is right now make some passes shane is coming got his slicks put air in them he's gonna make some passes uh sure we're gonna change up some stuff on the two-step 